Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EE episode 23, I believe, which is pretty darn epic to say. There we go. And last time, we had a last-second announcement, something along the lines of a, a beach house that Kira owns and we're going to, so that just means there's more fun in store. As for now, we are in the Good Samaritan Club, and I think we're going to see Rika, which is kind of epic. Let's get going. When I arrive, I spot a few of my club mates already in the room, but not Rika. That's strange. She's always here. Suddenly, the door flies open and Rika skids to a stop in front of us. Change of plans, everyone! Today, we'll finally put that overbearing Ichiro in his place! Ichiro do be overbearing, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's give Rika, like, 10 points, you know, because she hasn't had too much of a place in the story, so let's, let's bump her up on the best girl ranking. Hey, a few of my clubmates perk up. We've been trying to get back at that uptight hall monitor for months now! Yup, and we've finally been gifted the perfect opportunity. There's some very loud, angry woman yelling for a teacher in the hallway. Oh man, Ichiro would have a field day! Exactly! So roll out, everyone! I'll need you, you, and you to come with me. D points to Hina and a couple other people. The rest of you fan out and look for Ichiro. Make sure you lead him to that woman. How odd. Rika disappears just as quickly as she appeared. There's a pause and then we all jump into action. We disperse when we are where we are assigned to go. I travel down the hallway looking for Ichiro. I've never run into him before, but I'd heard the horror stories. He berates anyone without a hall pass and will even force them to wait when he inspects the pass for authenticity. If someone uses the bathroom, he'll hang around to make sure there's no funny business. It's excessive and a little creepy. That sounds very weird, to just like hangs around while you're using the bathroom. Okay, maybe Ichiro isn't actually a student and he's just, uh, you know pretending. Just my luck, as I turn the corner, I spot Ichiro's signature slicked back hair and firmly pressed uniform. There's not a wrinkle in sight, and he wears each piece neatly, including the jacket. Ichiro. He turns in my direction and immediately scowls. Hey, shouldn't you be in class? Where's your pass? It's club time. Where's yours? There's no time for this. I don't have time to play his egocentric games. That's not important. His eyes widen and he sucks in a breath like I just punched him in his stomach. There's literally nothing more important. Right now, there's some random lady yelling in the hallway of the school. I don't know who she is. This is a clear case of stranger danger. Ichiro's scowl deepens. He adjusts his badge and smooths out his jacket. Oh uh, no, not on my watch. Where is she? Hiding my glee, I follow Rika's directions and lead him to where she said the woman was. As we grow closer, we hear the echoes of her pounding on the administration's door. Excuse me! Excuse me! I demand to speak to someone! Oh, it's Karen. Oh no. Immediately, Ichiro storms up to her. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to step back. This is like the Clash of Titans right now. Rika and the team watch from around the corner. I join them and refocus my attention. The woman huffs, barely giving him a glance as she continues knocking on the door. Ugh, why are there so many children in the school? Where are the adults? Ma'am, are you allowed to be in this building? How dare you! I am a parent and have every right to be here. Then where's your visitor's pass? Why would I need that? I'm not a visitor. My son attends this school. Any non-faculty or student needs a pass to come into the building. So without one, you're breaking the rules. If this is, they are throwing down right now. This is intense. I'm like half masked right now. That doesn't apply to me. I'm a parent. So being a parent means nothing. If you don't have a pass, then you can't be here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How rude! Is that how you talk to your elders? I'm going to need to speak to someone about this. Where is the manager? Oh, she said the thing. She said it. 
Suddenly, the administrator's door opens and the principal steps out with a broad placating, placating? I've never seen this word in my life. Who is this man? Placate, placating, 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 placating. Placating sounds right. With a broad placating smile, he welcomes the woman into the into the office. Ooh, that word messed me up. Apologies for the delay. Please, why don't you come inside so we can chat? Why does the principal have anime protagonist hair? Or maybe it's more like hentai protagonist hair and a goatee. This does not seem befitting of a principal. I don't know, maybe just me. Also, he should have an eye patch because he doesn't have an eye here, but not not to uh, eye shame. Did you hear the way this child spoke to me? I demand he be reprimanded for his rudeness. Sir, she doesn't have a pass. A look of annoyance flashes across the principal's face. Clearly, this was not something he wanted to deal with. I apologize, ma'am. I'll be certain to have a discussion with him about his behavior. For now, why don't you step inside to my office? The woman crosses her arms. Not until the appropriate measures are taken so we can't harass anyone else. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. But for now, Ichiro, please return your hall monitor pass until I have a chance to fully clear up the situation. Oh no. But sir, there's nothing to clear up. She's a visitor without a pass. That's a clear violation of the rules. And you're talking back to your teachers too. <laughs> have you no respect? It's my job to enforce the rules and that's exactly what I'm doing. And you know, I, I'm kind of on Ichiro's side here. You know, like, he, you know, he's not, you know, completely innocent, but I, I, I kind of feel for the guy. Ichiro. The principal's tone is stern without a hint of friendliness to his voice. Your pass. Oh man, poor guy. Reluctantly, Ichiro hands it all over. Now I suggest you return to your club before you're cited for wandering the halls without a pass. The principal motions for the woman to enter. After shooting Ichiro a final glare, she stomps into the office. He follows her in and firmly shuts the door behind him. A crowd of students had gathered curious by the commotion and watched attentively. As Ichiro stands awkwardly in the hall, I hear the students whisper to each other. Did you see that? That parent just insisted that Ichiro be removed from being a hall monitor. Yeah, I can't believe it. It serves him right, though. He had such a big ego. For sure. Did you see how he even talked back to the principal? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get suspended. Losing his pass is the least the principal could have done. I know. At least now Ichiro knows what happens when someone abuses their power. Maybe he won't be such a jerk about it in the future. If he ever gets his job back. That too. Man, Ichiro abuse caught on camera 2021 gone sexual. Not, not fake. This is, this is sad. Man, poor guy. With how big this crowd has gotten, I'm sure the news about Ichiro will spread like wildfire. Rika motions for us to return before we're spotted. Once we're safely back in the club room, she nods. That should put Ichiro in his place. I'm sure after the principal talks to him, he'll think twice about being so rude. The principal did not seem happy at all. He probably didn't want to deal with a complaint that could have been avoided if Ichiro had a better attitude. It's one thing to enforce the rules, and another to be a tyrant about it. Yeah, hopefully he learns his lesson. Our club meeting ends shortly after. After tidying up, I grab my stuff and leave the room. Back in the hallway, I run into Erlin. Hey, Erlin. Oh, hello. Are you heading home now? We can walk together and hold hands. In a moment. I have one last task I need to finish up. Would you like to come with me? It won't take long. Perhaps. Sure. I follow her down the hall, wondering where she's headed. Erlin! Oh no, not this guy. This guy's after Erlen. We cannot let that happen. We pause as Daisuke catches up. Hello, Daisuke. I don't like how she said that. This is this is not going well. Hey, bitch. Hi. Fuck you. He offers me a smile. And I'm glad I caught you two. Do you have plans for the holiday weekend? Oh no no he he is not allowed to come to the beach house. No way. He's he's gonna make a move. 
He's he's banned. I would, why would you say that? Yeah, we're going to spend the weekend at the beach, bitch. Oh, that sounds like it'll be a good time. Yeah, you won't be there, bitch. Did you need us for something? I may have a lead on something that could help us get home and was planning to track it this weekend. Carolyn becomes alert, her expression turning serious. This is the first news we've had regarding the investigation in a while. What sort of lead? I'm not entirely sure, but there might be someone at the shrine who's worth talking to. I've gone down that road before. Eske nods. Yeah, I know. But it can't hurt to check it out. Did you want us to join you? He shakes his head. No, go to the beach and have fun. I don't know if this will pan out, and if it leads to a dead end, I'd feel awful if you missed your plans for it. Okay, may maybe we were being a little rude to Daisuke earlier, calling him a uh, bitch, you know, seven or eight times, so my apologies. If it has to do with Belden, then perhaps it would be best if I were there. No, okay, I take it all back. No, really. I've got it covered. It'll be a lot of waiting around, and we might not even find anyone. Okay, I, re I redact my previous statement about taking it all back. I know how that feels. Yeah, so don't worry about it. I'll keep you updated. I just figured I'd keep you in the loop. Erlen hesitates, then nods. In that case, tell me as soon as you find something. I will. He flashes us one last smile. Alright, I better get going. Have a nice holiday. He waves before disappearing down the hall. Erlen sets off again, continuing her travel, and I hurry to catch up. It seems like she's unconcerned about what Daisuke shared. Are you worried at all about what Daisuke will or won't find? I'm unsure. What do you mean? We've tried investigating the shrine in the past, and it's led us nowhere. Maybe Daisuke will have more luck, but a part of me wonders if he's needlessly spinning his wheels. Maybe he'll find something we missed. He's trying to show us up. Let him do what he wants. You know, le just let him do whatever he wants. He's not involved with us. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. If he wants to pursue it, then so be it. He nods. Either way, there's no use dwelling on it. Especially when I still have work to do. Oh, right. That last errand you had to run. Where are we going again? Here. He pauses in front of the music room that looks suspiciously similar to every single classroom we've ever been in. Huh? I've never been here before. That was a lie. Instruments are tucked neatly in their cases as chairs and music stands fill the space. In one corner stands a large decorated harp, while the other corner sits a piano. A girl with curly ginger hair plays a simple melody, her fingers dancing across the ivory keys. He's slender, with striking blue eyes and freckled pale skin. As soon as she notice, notices us, she stands up, chopping the melody short. Oh, Evelyn! Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Okay. Okay, full character design, please. Is that Ma Macy? Maisie? I think it's Macy. Um, give her... Give her 62 points. I don't think we'll see her again. No, no. Give her give her 80 points, because I'm sure by the end of this, you know, all the girls will be above that. But gosh darn, if Macy here doesn't have 100 points by the end of the series, I'll be flabbergasted. Hello, Maisie. I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, so it's Maisie. My, my bad. The girl shakes her head. It's okay. You weren't interrupting. I'm glad to hear that. I just came to make sure the harp that was ordered for the music club's showcase arrived. She glances at the unmistakable harp in the corner. And it looks like it did. Looks like our club wasn't the only one that benefited from Erlen's club funding initiative. Yes, and I'm actually really happy that you're here. Oh, was there something you wanted to discuss? Maisie nods, tucking a lock of hair behind her ear. Yes. Sort of. Um, I wanted to thank you in person for everything you did for me in the club. I'm really grateful you were able to secure us a heart. Thank you for your hard work. Alright, give her another 15 points. Erlen blinks in surprise before a blush stains her cheeks. You don't have to thank me. I was only doing my job. Even so, 
I know it wasn't easy to get. He hesitates. Would you like to hear a song? Yes. I'd love to. With a broad smile, Maisie settles herself at the harp and delicately plucks a few chords. After a quick warm-up of the instruments, she takes a deep breath. Then she begins. Beautiful. Oh, it's the main title theme, haha. <laughs> the music flows through her fingers into an ethereal melody. <laughs> Get it? Each chord rings loud and clear. Water falling into har harmonies. <laughs> I was going to say harmonies. Uh, it's soothing, relaxing, and warms the soul. As the last chord fades away, Erland and I break out into applause. That was magnificent, Maisie. Yeah, you were amazing. You'd be my girlfriend? <laughs> you really think so? Thank you. Gosh, where, where, where is her route? We need it. She beams brightly, her eyes sparkling. How long have you been playing the harp? Just today. My jaw drops. Seriously? Yeah, I played both the violin and piano growing up, but I've always loved the sound of the harp. I watched a lot of videos to prepare, but I can tell I still need a lot of practice. I'd give her another eight points. I never would have guessed. You sounded like a professional. Erlen nods. Yes, you're incredibly talented, and I'm confident that you'll put that harp to good use. Maisie's face lights up. Thank you. I'm really excited to perform at the showcase. I hope you'll both come and listen. We'd love to. Definitely. But for now, we'll let you practice in peace. That was the last time we ever saw her. After saying goodbye, Erlen and I leave the room. I can hear the faint echo of music as we walk down the hall. God, I hope we see her again. Soon we leave the school and make our way home. I'm impressed by Erlen. When she first joined the student council, I never expected her to take the role seriously, but it seemed like she really does want to make the school a better environment for the students. Looks like you've been helping a lot of clubs out. She makes it sound so simple, but I know that must have taken a lot of research and anal cis to prove the funding was necessary. I feel like you're downplaying how much you helped in making things happen. It was certainly challenging at times, but a lot of clubs were depending on me. I couldn't just let my subjects down. Spoken like a true leader. He smirks. It took you long enough to see it. Erlen is naturally falling into that leadership role. Wonder how much of that sense of duty is something she learned from Velden, and how much of it is because she's grown accustomed to living here. Finally, we see the house in the distance. When we return home, the family's in the living room. Welcome home, you two. Are you all packed up for your trip? I still have a few things to pack. What about her dog? Are we bringing the dog? Same here. Mina grins from her spot on the couch. I forgot you existed, Mina. Sorry. I'm all done. I gotta hit start for once. Well, I'm sure you'll all have a lot of fun. The sunshine will feel so nice. I know. I'm really excited. Uncle Hajime nods. Yes, you'll have a great time. Just don't forget to be home in time for family day. Don't worry, Dad. Of course we'll be back. Yep. Everyone's going to be home by then. Ooh. I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Hey, mark this down right now. I like... 19 minutes into the episode, where Copy Sue predicted the everyone's going to be home by then. So by family day, I think the story's going to conclude and Erlen's going back home. That's going to be my prediction. Also, side note, since we have to choose between Kira and Erlen, I wonder if it's like a she stays here or we go there. You know, just something to think about. But that aside, let's continue. Erlen hesitates, but Aunt Miko offers her a smile. That includes you too, Erlen. Family day won't be complete without you. Erlen softens into a smile. I look forward to celebrating. After a nod, Aunt Amiko checks the time. Okay, Hajime and I need to return to the bakery. I'm going to finish packing then. As will I. Mina looks around at all of us departing. Oh, everyone's leaving? Um, well, I have plans too. <laughs> yeah? What are your plans? Uh, it's a secret.
secret? I'm curious, that means you have no plans. I scoff. Nice try. You didn't want to sit here all alone, so you're pretending to have plans. Mina's face flushes bright red. N no, that's not it at all. I totally have plans. In fact, I'm going to them right now. He marches towards the stairs. Your plan is to go to your room? Yes. I grin. Shut up! Marilyn is already halfway up the stairs by the time Mina and I are done talking. I hurry upstairs and split off into my room. Getting end of the episode vibes here. Let's see, what do I need for the beach? I gather my swimsuit and towel and then throw in a bottle of sunscreen and other essentials. Next I grab extra changes of clothes and shoes. Duffling around the room, I pull out what I need and toss them into my bag. Finally, I'm done. I take one last look around and then zip up my luggage. That went faster than I anticipated. I still have the evening to spend as I wish. Maybe someone will be free to hang out. Oh my gosh, it wasn't the end of the episode. That's crazy. But I think we are going to end it there artificially. Next time, we're going to pick someone to hang out with. I'm going to say we're not going to the arcade. That's going to be my executive decision. But who knows? Who, who knows? I wonder who it's going to be out of these four or not these two. Definitely just not these two and all four. Okay, end of the episode. Do me four favors. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, help me find a girlfriend. And bye bye